रिलेटिव स्पीड इज ए इन समाइम्स इज अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कंसेप्ट फॉर स्टूडेंट बट इट्स वेरी इजी कंसेप्ट इन सिंपलेस्ट टर्म रिलेटिव स्पीड रिलेटिव स्पीड इज इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज इन गैप इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज इन गैप बिटवीन द टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए पर्टिकुलर टाइम whether there is increase in gap or there is a decrease in gap either of the two cases will be true that per unit time that will be the relative speed relative speed is a concept used when two objects are moving with respect to each other either they are moving in same direction or in opposite direction let's assume a simple case let's say this is point number p this is point q car a is there c a car a is there car b is there car b is traveling from point q to p at a speed of 40 km per hr this is a speed car a is traveling from p to q at a speed of 60 km per hr let's assume that the this gap initial gap pq is 300 km now first thing to understand that when they will start moving they are moving simultaneously 9 am let's say time is there 9 am 9 am in the morning this car A is here. Nine a.m. in the morning, car B is here. Both are moving simultaneously. Now, first thing, whether the gap will increase or decrease. Definitely, the gap between these two cars will decrease. This is first thing to understand. How much decrease will be there per unit of time? That is what we need to calculate. After one hour, what will happen after one hour? This is point P Q. After one hour, car A will cover a distance of sixty kilometer because car A speed is sixty kilometer per hour. car b where will be car b car b will cover 40 km distance let's this point is r this point is s car a covered 60 km as per car a speed car b covered 40 km as per car b speed now this distance this gap remaining now is 200 km now first thing how much gap is reduced in 1 hour you can see that earlier the gap between the two cars was 300 km now the gap is 200 km so gap reduced is 100 km gap reduced gap reduced is equals to 100 km in 1 hour that is your relative speed so i can simply say that relative speed is increase or decrease in gap per unit time so the relative speed is 100 km per hour that the simplest meaning of relative speed you can see that the gap earlier was 300 now the gap is 200 relative speed is 100 km per hr otherwise you can simply remember whenever two objects are moving in opposite direction whenever two object objects are moving in opposite direction relative speed is always equals to speed of object a plus speed of object b in this case this is 60 plus 40 100 km per hour you can simply remember either you can remember this concept increase or decrease in gap per unit time or you can simply learn that whenever two objects are moving in opposite direction relative speed is speed of object a plus speed of object b in this case it will be 60 plus 40 that is 100 km per hour now my second question with respect to this example is that when will these two car meet when will these two car meet this is a question now you can see that the gap is 300 km the gap was 300 km we need to reduce this gap of 300 km now we need to calculate time you know the time is distance upon speed time is distance upon speed in relative speed questions i will take distance as a gap we need to reduce, reduce the gap of 300 km when when the car will meet the gap will become zero now the gap is 300 after meeting the gap will become zero so we need to reduce the gap of 300 km per hour speed i will take the relative speed whenever relative speed question is there you have to take relative speed in case of the speed relative speed is you can see that 60 and plus 40 100 km per hour your gap is reducing at a speed of 100 km per hour so time would be 3 hours after 3 hours these two cars will meet you can simply verbally look at that in 3 hours car a will cover 180 16 into 3 car b will cover 14 into 3 120 180 plus 120 the distance will be 300 
300 as i am showing here in 3 hours car a would be a 3 hours 180 km car a will be here 2 hour 3 hours 120 km at a speed of 40 car v b will also be here so these two car will meet after 3 hours second case i am taking let's say this is point p this is point q car a here car a is moving at a speed of 60 km per hour from point p to q car b is moving in this direction both are moving in same direction car b c b 40 km per hour this gap is let's say 300 km this is the gap now what is the relative speed in this case now two objects are moving in same direction relative speed single concept i told you increase or decrease in gap per unit time increase or decrease in gap gap per unit time this is my relative speed now in this case you can see that gap will reduce because the car that is coming from behind that car speed is higher than the car which is moving forward as you can see that uh, what will happen after 1 hour now the gap is 300 km after 1 hour after 1 hour what will happen after 1 hour after 1 hour this is point p q i am making this is p this is q 1 hour car a will be here this point let this is point r 60 km car a at a speed of 60 km car a will cover 60 km in 1 hour car b will cover here will be car b c b this this is 40 km this point is let's say a s now that distance is p to s this distance complete distance p to q we know that it this was 300 this distance is 340 km out of which this distance is 60 this is 60 so this distance from p r s i need to calculate distance between r and s this is in 60 so this will be how much 280 km now the distance between here car is a here this car is car b now the distance between two cars remains only 280 km because in one car car b traveled 40 km in the same one hour car a traveled 60 km 20 km extra the car a is traveling so it means that distance will reduce by 20 km per hour so you can see that earlier the gap was 300 km now after one hour the gap between two cars is 280 km so there is a decrease of gap decrease of this gap that is 20 km per hour and this is my relative speed so relative speed in this case is 20 km per hour 20 km per hour so that was with the concept of increase or decrease in gap per unit of time now otherwise you can simply learn that whenever two objects are in two objects are moving in same direction whenever two objects are moving in same direction as in this case two cars are moving in same direction then relative speed is relative speed then relative speed is rs relative speed is speed of faster minus speed of slower sf stand for speed of the faster car minus speed of the slower car in this case speed of faster car was 60 km per hr minus this was 40 km per hr this difference is 20 km per hr the same answer this is the just to learn both method you must know two objects in same direction relative speed is speed of faster minus speed of slower 20 km per hr we won't use that slower minus faster negative speed displacement physics kind of concept will not be used here here you simply means that speed of faster minus speed of slower 20 km per hour will be your relative speed but you also know the increase or decrease in gap per unit time this concept is very important you must know both the methods to calculate the relative speed
Now my question is when these two cars will meet each other? Meeting time. Now meeting means that when these two cars will meet, the gap will become zero. Now the gap is 300. After meeting, the gap will become zero. So time we need to calculate time is T is distance upon speed. Distance in relative speed question, you can take the increase or decrease in gap. How much gap we need to increase or decrease? We need to reduce the gap of 300 km. So that gap become zero. What is the relative speed? Speed, we have to take the relative speed. Gap is reducing at a speed of 20 km per hour. So in 15 hours, in 15 hours, these two cars will meet after starting. This is the first question. A thief is noticed by a policeman from a distance of 300 meter. Thief starts running and the policeman start chasing him. The thief and the policeman run at a speed of 10 km per hour and 12 km per hour respectively. No? respectively. Now these kind of questions we can solve in less than 30 seconds. And this chapter is very important chapter, very logical chapter. You will really enjoy solving the questions on this chapter. The only thing is that you need a bit of motivation. Now, first I am making a diagram. Let's say this is thief. Thief is moving at a speed of 10 km per hour. Policeman is moving towards the thief at a speed of 12 km per hour. The gap between them is 300 meter that is given to you. What is the relative speed? First question. Now two objects are moving in same direction. Relative speed is speed of faster minus speed of slower that is 2 km per hour. That is the relative speed. Now what was the meaning of relative speed? I told you that increase or decrease in gap per unit time. Here by common sense the gap is reducing because the policeman is faster than the thief. So you can see that relative speed also the gap is reducing at a speed of 2 km per hour. This is the meaning of relative speed. Increase or decrease in gap of per unit time. 2 km of gap is reducing per hour. That is the meaning of relative speed. Now at what time the policeman will catch the thief? Time is we know that distance upon speed. The basic formula. Now distance in the relative speed question we always take the whether to increase or to decrease the gap. Here we need to reduce the gap of 300 meter. Because then only the policeman will catch the thief. The gap will become zero. What is the speed? Speed means how at what speed the gap is reducing. Gap is reducing at a speed of 2 km per hour. You can need to convert km per hour in meter per second. 2 into 5 by 18. This 10, 30. So 5, 40 seconds will be the time because I have convert km per hour in meter per second. 5, 40 seconds the policeman will catch the thief. You only need to apply this this circled one formula in exam and you will be able to solve your question second question was what is the distance between them after six minutes now this question is very easy and interesting what is the gap or distance between them after six minutes now you can see that the gap is reducing gap between them is reducing at a speed of gap is reducing at a speed of two kilometer per hour it means that gap will reduce reduce 2 km in how much 1 hour 1 hour you can say that 60 minutes in 60 minutes the gap will reduce between them is 2 km or you can say that 2000 meter 2000 meter gap will reduce in 60 minutes how much the gap will reduce in 6 minutes that what we need to calculate how much the gap left after 6 minutes. So at 6 minutes, this is 1 tenth. This is 1 tenth. I will reduce the time 1 tenth. So distance gap will also become 1 tenth. 200 meter. So it means that gap will reduce by 200 meter in 6 minutes. So now the gap is 300 meter. So after 6 minutes, the gap left would be 100 meter. Gap left would be 100 meter. That would be your final answer because gap will reduce by 200 meter in 6 minutes so how much gap will be left 6 minutes or oh, 100 meter otherwise you can simply calculate another, other, another way to solve this second part gap reduction after 6 minutes I know that gap reducing or increasing is considered a distance so distance is speed into time relative speed into time 
टू किलोमीटर पर आर इधर स्पीड टाइम इज सिक्स मिनट्स यू कैन कवर्ड इन टू आर सिक्स बाई सिक्सटी आर्स बिकॉज द स्पीड इज किलोमीटर पर आर दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फाइव आर्स वन बाय फाइव किलोमीटर नोट आर्स दैट इज टू हंड्रेड मीटर वन बाय फाइव किलोमीटर मीन्स टू हंड्रेड मीटर इट मीन्स दैट आफ्टर सिक्स मिनट द गैप बिटवीन पुलिस मैन एंड थीफ रिड्यूस बाय टू हंड्रेड मीटर तो गैप लेफ्ट वुड बी हाउ मच हंड्रेड मीटर सो इन दिस वे यू कैन सोल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ne in the next class or next lesson i will continue with more on the relative speed thank you